I like coming here. I've been coming here for around a year, a little bit more. I've been here for, I think, nearly three years. I've been volunteering here for about six years. I've been here five years and it has just blown me away. I don't think I've ever left a shift not feeling really happy. I mean, there's a lot of job satisfaction in doing it because of why we're doing it. You can see up on the whiteboard, you know, exactly how many meals you've made to help people that they really do need it. I really have felt that I'm part of a bigger picture here at Fair Share. They you know, rescue food and turn it into meals for people that need um, food. I grew up in an era where you went home from school, you went to the fridge, everything was there, the fridge was always full. But since I've been at Fair Share, I've found out that there's another side. And that side is that uh, in all levels of society, there are people who cannot provide enough food for their families. We have 500 volunteers on average each week in our kitchen here at Abbotsford. They each put in around three hours. So that's 1,500 volunteer hours a week here at Fair Share and they're producing 25,000 meals a week for those hours. That's a pretty amazing effort given that they're all volunteers. They're all here because they want to be here, not because we're paying them. We now run Australia's largest charity kitchen where we have 7,000 people helping out every year. School kids, corporate groups, and of course our regular volunteers. I'm, I'm doing my master's degree at Melbourne University through a scholarship uh, from the Chilean government. But now that I'm here in Australia, I, I thought that it was a good thing to give back. We aim to feed as many as possible. I mean, 5,000 meals a day is some feat. I would have predated Jamie Oliver by about 40 years if I had been allowed to cook at school. But I had to do metalwork and woodwork. So I've always had this passion about cooking. I haven't really had much to do with hospitality or anything like that in the past, so I've learnt skills that I didn't have. It's very rewarding, very fulfilling, and you meet some wonderful people from all sections of society. The group that I'm with on a Wednesday morning, it, it's just like a family. But I think just being around people and being happy, you know, and just generally having a good time. I work full time in an office and also I live in an apartment, so really missing getting my hands dirty and so it just all came together, perfect. I'm not really a gardener, um, that whole thing about mulching and feeding and thinning out and yeah, I've never done any of it before, so every week I learn something new. I'd put my name down before I retired and was on the waiting list for quite a while and then got an email to say, come along. It's a couple of hours a week, makes a difference in such a massive way to so many people. Yeah, if you are thinking about it, just start doing it.